Iron Eagle trailers come with pre-drilled holes in the flange for you to use in order to bolt your walls directly to the trailer. We took advantage of these holes where we could, but our studs didn't always line up with one, so we needed to make additional holes in the flange. To do this, we used a half inch drill bit and a three quarter inch drill bit that were designed to drill through metal. We decided to go with Simpson tie downs spaced out around the house. We anchored these to the trailer using five inch bolts with a diameter of five eighths inch. The tie downs could also be screwed directly into the stud, so the walls are being tightly held down to the trailer. We used 12 of these spaced around the house. To ensure there was an unbroken connection from the top of the house to the trailer, we installed these threaded metal rods. The rods are 3 8 diameter and there are 6 of them around the house, 3 on each of the long walls. We needed to go to a store that specializes in fasteners to find these. We used a 3 inch plate at the top along with a large washer, smaller washer, lock washer and nut. At the bottom we used a washer, lock washer and nut. We need the double washer at the top because the 3 inch plate had a fairly large hole. Finally, we added a bit of strapping to the top of the studs that didn't have a rafter tie attached to them. We're confident the roof won't blow off as it drives down the road. Be sure to like and comment if you enjoyed this video. And you can click on the preview tiles to check out some of our other videos. Don't forget to subscribe if you're new to the channel. You can also follow us on social media.